My name is Dr. Sridhar Venamaneni. I am an internal medicine physician at Pratima Hospitals in uh, Kurkutpalli. Today we'll be talking about uh, monkeypox. Monkeypox is uh, an infection that was uh, initially discovered many years ago in 1958 uh, in research monkeys when they found that these monkeys had a rash that was similar to smallpox. The infection is similar to smallpox uh, in the fact that they uh, belong to the same family. At this stage in India, we have a um, few confirmed cases, whereas in Europe and US, there are more than 2,000 cases of uh, monkeypox. Um, there are hundreds of cases in Europe, so at this stage, uh, the WHO has recently announced that it's an emergency. And so today we're talking about monkeypox. If, if your question is when should you get tested for monkeypox, um, the answer is that if you have any uh, exposure to a confirmed patient with monkeypox, uh, that is when you need to get tested. And typically after exposure to a patient with monkeypox, most patients um, do not have any symptoms uh, until one to two weeks after exposure. Some of the symptoms are similar to COVID. Um, most patients usually start with uh, having fever, headaches, uh, muscle aches, joint pains, fatigue. And in addition, Unlike COVID infection, here uh, with monkeypox, patients can have swollen glands. And then typically they develop a rash that starts on the face. It's a blistering rash. It's like pimples. It starts on the face and uh, it can spread elsewhere all over the body, including the mouth. Uh, patients can have rash in the pubic area, in the perianal area, um, along with uh, rash on the hands. The rash can be extremely painful for some patients. The infection by itself, it's not deadly unless uh, patients are immunocompromised or um, if you have patients um, uh, who are pregnant or lactating mothers, the risk is higher. And also children under the age of eight years have a higher risk of uh, serious infection. So if you are exposed to this infection, uh, first thing you have to do is isolate yourself and get tested. Typically, the most infectious period is once you start having symptoms. In other words, if uh, patients are asymptomatic, during that time, the risk of transmission is low. But once they have fever um, with other symptoms and rash, especially rash, the risk of um, transmission is higher. The spread is mostly by close contact with patients. So close contact would be skin-to-skin um, -skin contact. It could be a sexual contact, be kissing, cuddling, uh, even um, exposure to patients' um, clothes uh, that are infected with um, any kind of body fluids or exposure to uh, patients, um, utensils, cups, etc. So once a patient has any of these um, rashes and other symptoms, then the guidelines are that these patients should be isolated uh, until the rash completely resolves and they have a new skin uh, development. Because typically it's a blistering rash and um, this rash progresses and you tend to develop scabs which finally fall off. Once the scabs fall off and you have new fresh skin, that's when um, your risk of transmission to others is low. So until that period, which could be four weeks or more, you need to be isolated at home. In terms of uh, prevention um, for the family members or other contact uh, patients who are in close contact with this uh, monkeypox virus patients, uh, the, the most important thing is obviously you have to wear gloves, you have to um, use a face mask. And um, if you are exposed to somebody who has a positive um, infection, uh, at this stage, um, the current recommendations are you can get the smallpox virus vaccine, which is available uh, all over the world. Um, it's been proven to be about 85, 80 to uh, 75 to 85 percent effective in preventing uh, infection. The treatment of um, monkeypox includes uh, mostly uh, supportive treatment, which includes fluids and uh, you know treating with uh, paracetamol and uh, IV fluids. In addition, um, there is a, uh, an oral drug which was initially approved for smallpox. Um, it's called T-pox, which is available in India, and um, that has been shown to be effective against this infection. The spread of infection um, in asymptomatic patients is uh, unlikely with uh, monkeypox, whereas in COVID infection, patients can be totally asymptomatic and can easily spread the infection. Now, in the other difference in um, case of monkeypox is most patients will have a rash, a blistering rash, uh, unlike a COVID infection where patients do not have a rash. 
both patients um, with monkeypox as well as COVID can have similar um, symptoms like fever, muscle aches, joint pains, fatigue. All those are quite common in both the patients. So um, until uh, usually rash in, co in uh, monkeypox develops a um, few days after you start having the fever. So uh, patients need to monitor for any rash uh, if they have any fever. At this stage, monkeypox is a very uh, mild infection in most patients and um, we all need to look out for uh, patients with uh, high fever and blistering rash and uh, if you're exposed to any of these patients you need to isolate um, yourself and get tested and if possible um, get treated with a smallpox vaccine which has been shown to be effective.